guys welcome back to the channel the 24th of october we're taking a look at math this morning m-a-t-h slash the united states dollar this would be math cryptocurrency this will be a daily chart and this will be the price data from coinbase if you have access to coinbase which most of you do you should be able to um, buy and or sell this asset here huge day yesterday had a viewer ask if we could cover this again not many people are interested in this so really don't like to spend too much time on projects like that but with a close down 34 percent and intraday down way more than that and we recently covered it not too long ago i uh, figured i'll all right take a look at it real quick so for the upside i had a <clears throat> excuse me a math target uh which could still be in play uh, depends on what the market does here is uh 99.20 and then 108.20 99.20 108.20 big breakout here similar to aerodrome big resistance line above the market broke out went on a huge run and then obviously had a massive shakeout yesterday didn't quite get up to the highs that were put in back in april got close lower high Big, big pullback. Looks like support came in for the candle wick, though, above the resistance line. So that's good to see. Today we have a higher low. That's good to see. We don't have a, a higher high yet. We'll see what happens with this thing. It, you know, It's going to need a really strong market for it to recover from uh, a beatdown like that. So we'll see. Again, I don't expect it to do too much. Um, that's just how I feel right now, especially after yesterday's beatdown. If Bitcoin can do well here, you know, maybe Bitcoin was done selling off yesterday. We could see math recover. But that is that um, from the break above the resistance line. It's currently up still 86%. It was up as much as call it like 230% up to the 99.20 from the breakout. You're at 300 and then 108, you'd be at like 380. So we'll see how it does here. Again, I don't follow this much. There's no interest on my channel for this, so there's, doesn't, it's not worth my time. But somebody did ask, and uh, so whatever. Got, got a little bit extra time here, so I figured I'll cover it. So that's that. I mean, it's anyone's guess. I don't know where this thing is going from here. Like I said, that was a big, big beat down yesterday. It's going to take a lot to recover from that. It could take a lot of time. It could take a really strong rally in Bitcoin for it to start to move higher. If neither of those happen, as in Bitcoin is weak, there's almost no chance this is going to rally. This is probably just going to fade and head lower. But that's that. That's all I got here for, for math. If there is more interest in this video, maybe I'll start adding some more price levels on the chart. You know, right now there's a huge range down to 14 to 99 there's a lot of empty uh, empty space in here where there is price uh, support and resistance lines. But anyways, that's that, guys. Upper target still still holds strong. You know, it doesn't mean it's going to get there. Um, you know, big pullback. That's that over to Bitcoin. So yeah, see, Bitcoin's rallying today. So actually, Bitcoin looks pretty good at the moment. Uh, let's see if we can get back up to sixty-eight seven forty-eight. Um, if we do get up there, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see a new higher high come in. And if that takes place, you're going to see markets rally across the board, uh, projects, I should say in the cryptocurrency space. All right, guys, all links down below does help support the channel. Of course, not financial advice, big shakeout yesterday in math. We'll see how it plays out 68, 748 for Bitcoin. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and join us. I'll catch you guys in the next one.